Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you the inside of the LMP. We have this instrument panel followed by the steering wheel and then we have this tiny little screen which is it says more tech here this is our little computer on board basically now uh starting from the instrument panel we have start button this is the ignition to fire up the car this is to stop the engine then uh, this is the high beam this is the indicator left and right this is to turn on the rain light then this is the wiper and this is intermittent this is aircon air conditioning is compulsory now few years ago it wasn't compulsory now under ACO regulation or LMP2 car you must have an air conditioning unit and this is a defroster this is a fuel reset this is for a full course yellow so in the event of accident we simply press this button and then keep our foot on full throttle and we cruise at 80 km per hour then moving forward here this is the master switch to the right is the uh, ABS warning light and then over here we have the power steering setting we can have it light medium weight or heavy so depending on the driver's feel basically how much weight they want on the power steering control so they can actually adjust here according to their preference then over here it's a uh, brake bias uh, what it does is uh, allow the driver to make adjustment how much brake uh, on the front and the rear this section here very very important e stands for fire extinguisher so if you hit this button basically you are in trouble otherwise you won't use this button and then uh, moving down here this is the uh, ABS switches again ABS sensitivity is subject to each driver adjustment and then down here these three are the fuses so finally this is the master switch for the ABS so you can actually off it without ABS or you can have it on moving forward we have steering wheel which is very very important this is basically our computer without the steering wheel obviously we can't drive the car let's start from the left this is a radio button so if I need to speak to my uh, engineer this is what I do all I need to do is hold it out and talk and then when I finish I just let it go so this button is neutral when you are in the pit you basically you hit this button the car will go into a neutral mode alarm basically if some alarm popped up like fuses blew up or some other components uh, have issue overheating etc etc the alarm will come on so basically what we need to do is we need to go through this alarm session to reset it and then later on it will put a marker the engineer will know what actually happened then moving to the right this is one of my favorite buttons it says flash we need to say when we start lapping slower driver by doing this we have to flash it next is my luxury button this is a drink button we do carry 500 ml of liquid in the car so when we are thirsty we can just simply press this button and it will be some liquid coming through our helmet pit limiter so when we enter the pit there is a regulation said that you must not exceed 60 kilometers per hour a race car like this it's very difficult to maintain constant 60 kilometers per hour in the pit because the car will be rocking very very difficult so by hitting this pit limiter the computer will take over all i need to do is keep my foot on the throttle at full throttle but the speed will maintain at 60 kilometers per hour moving down here this is a map switch which we don't touch them frequently unless the engineer tell us to do so so you have map one map two map three and all these are preset uh, all this mapping is mostly to do with the engine basically how lean or how rich you want to run on the, the on the engine on the day itself depending on the uh, weather condition again we don't touch this map unless the engineer asks us to do so moving to the right is the tc it stands for traction control now here we have many many steps up to eight different tc control levels so again this is entirely up to the driver at what level uh, that he wants or she wants to set uh, depending on the track condition then moving down here we have a patch 
earlier when I said when the alarm goes on the computer will be blinking here and flashing everywhere and then sometimes because we have so much information and this tiny little screen cannot show you everything therefore you need to patch up and down it's basically a scroll button fuel reset so we can either use it here or we can use it here basically again this fuel reset is information data which we help the engineer uh, to reset so that the engineer knows exactly how much fuel left on the car and finally we have this two pedal shift uh, basically on the right hand side is first second third four five six six five four three two one up shift and down shift so voila that's uh, my office all right guys now if you want to know more about racing stuff do follow me on zenlo69 on my tiktok or my instagram and uh, i will update you guys more bye for now